everyone, this is Ranger Rob from the Ranger Rob Country Living channel. Welcome to uh, our channel. Here we talk about hydroponics, uh, greenhouses, gardening, prepping, uh, all kinds of common sense stuff in the news and how that affects us. And yes, today is a sparkling day in Central Oregon. It's sunny. Nice blue skies, nice cool temperatures. However, yesterday or this morning, I think was our first freeze or frost. And uh, <clears throat> so uh, we're going to go out and take a look and see if we suffered any damages. It, uh, you know, it was bound to happen. And uh, I also saw a new technique in hydroponics. Uh, using a flood system that uh, was d demonstrated on Hucho's. And uh, I think I like the idea for what I had planned for the uh, changing the NFT here. <clears throat> and here's, and, and actually he's addressing the same issue we have as roots. So, uh, the problem with some of these plants is the roots get so big, it plugs up the NFT and uh, definitely causes issues. And I was gonna take this out and put in a uh, Dutch bucket system. However, I just saw a demonstration of doing a flooding system using grow bags, like the ones we have over for our potato bags, where I can actually just put a liner uh, in these uh, on the ground here and put my plants in grow bags and let them wick uh, wick up our nutrients and I can also do it without pumps I can do it by gravity so yeah definitely get some new ideas for next spring which means I've got some structures to build this system will be coming out. This will be all corn. And we're going to set up a new NFT in a different location. Just not sure where yet. Because uh, we would like to put in another greenhouse. But we got a lot of projects to do. So we'll see. But let me take a closer look at some of my plants. And see if they got damaged with the frost. Uh, my peppers look a little sad. Um, but let me take a closer look. Well, looking a little closer, looks like some of the zucchini plants definitely didn't like the cold. Uh, all the tomatoes are looking like they're taking a hit and uh, that's ex expected. This was all extra um, zucchini. The bigger zucchini plant is hanging in there, but definitely everything looks like it's like pushing the limit here. Uh, the pepper plants <coughs> look like they're shocked a little bit, but it looks like they're okay. Uh, broccoli looks absolutely fine. These other plants here, these are all tomatoes. They're all showing signs of being done. So uh, not surprised. But let's take a look in that greenhouse and see if I had any trouble in there. So I stopped in the greenhouse, 76 degrees in here now. Uh, the tomato plants look like they're okay. Um, the floating rafts, everything looks wonderful here. Um, yeah, they're looking good. And uh, Wow, look at all that. Lettuce looks really good. Um, my broccoli in here looks nice and healthy. Um, I'm just curious to see if I actually get any broccoli. And by gosh, I think we're okay. Uh, I'm just, I'm not running any fans in here at all. Uh, and if I do, it's only because this gets a little warm in the afternoon. But right now, absolutely not. And uh, 
so yeah we're doing we're doing okay so i came over here to the strawberries they're all looking good uh they don't look like they took any damage from frost and i still got lots of strawberries coming so so far so good and uh yeah so i think we did all right for our first frost um but definitely a lot of stuff over there is going to start needing to be pulled and put in the compost well guys i've been kind of looking at everything in the nfts over here and uh the flooding system sounds interesting but there is a problem i do have these uh this trellis in the center which would make it hard to do a tank so i'm kind of thinking maybe experimenting and doing one side with the flooding raft system or floating uh with the fabric bags on one side and do the uh dutch buckets on the other outdoors and see how they perform against each other next year and uh the only bad part about all this is like all the work it'll take to do all this um to take this system out take this corn out pull up our fabrics uh pull out the roots uh re-amend the soil a little bit so we got a lot of work to do between now and next spring and uh <laughs> at this time of year you've just been working so hard on your gardens everything your uh enthusiasm at least mine is is like Ugh. um but i know what happens is during the winter and you don't have a garden to tend to and things get really quiet uh all you can do is dream about getting back to work the other thing i've noticed is um we've been using coconut core that you can buy pretty much from home depot and stuff like that and it turns out that there's a better coconut core out there that's designed for hydroponics and uh so uh, i ordered some samples and the other thing i thought i'd work on this summer this winter is some microgreens in the uh, green room um, so I've got some new growing mats to do uh, some microgreens. Um, just experiment with them and also get used to using them in our meals. So, uh, yeah, thinking out loud a lot. A lot of changes coming for next spring. And uh, we're going to conquer the corn next year. So uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up right here. Uh, I got a podcast to do today uh at six o'clock uh this will be the next day on this video and uh anyway please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world we'd appreciate it uh, i want to welcome all the new subscribers we've had a lot new a lot of new folks and uh we appreciate it very much so guys be safe have a great day and we'll talk to you later bye now our videos are made possible by ranger rob poopy bags Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.